These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Yeah, and um, now we have ourselves uh, a situation where, of course, that cannon is in, and it means that PPGOT's gone for the exhaust. We were seeing seems like JDG going for the double exhaust combos. Uh, yeah. We have, like, a fist of fate that's well. Ooh, yeah, he gets the flash onto him. Now he's in trouble. He has no dash, no escape. He doesn't have anything. And first blood goes to none other than Angel for OMG as well. See that Harry doesn't have the teleport, he's down towards bot side and one extent. Doesn't have an ash arrow to influence things. So this will be no interference from the bot side of the map just yet. One extent not reaching uh, that level six uh, is kind of important for TT. So it's gonna be one taken away by OMG. Tianjin was potentially looking at all of them, trying to AoE them all down. The page one will be able to take away the remaining two from this set, which means sadly, Vizel, there will be no showing of Grubbageddon this time. <laughs> Powerful as it stands. I think OMG, because they've uh, knocked off the spot prior to completely right now, it'd be risky to go towards this. There's a sapling to the brush, but I think realistically, they're giving this one up because TT had themselves to push a bit pop, and uh, that'll be the dragon going over fairly easily. The first soul going down in the fight, and he will find success on the other side. It's all about Angel and Starry navigating these, but we're already getting grubs here down and out. Calling come out. There's the Enchant Crystal. Everything's going to be used. The knockup for the Glacial Fisher is not going to be enough on Tianjin, but they are just focusing on the grubs. Hoya looking for a deep flank here. As OFG step it up. They want to try to deny one more, but they don't really have their juggler here with them as they oh. do end up getting the end up denial, at least, of the last grub. They'll get two in total. TT will get four, so they will get the mites. But he has this item combo. He can go towards the warmogs afterwards anyway, and he can still perform as a frontline. But for now, he's also going to be significant damage for TT. We're going to have to wade through with those saplings. Dragon has now spawned. Will that damage mean anything? We can tag on some people. Maybe they'll chunk it down. They're just going to go straight into the fight here. TP behind. This is big. Hoya is finally getting involved here and has an angle for a huge slicing nails from Feather getting low. Dragon goes over to page one. Now the re-engage. Trying to catch Angle, but Angel, but they end up getting PP got in the end. He dashes out. Angel also going to use his dash. Here's the TP from OMG trying to get out, but here comes the reset for page one. And it's a ticket for one to reset city. TT finds two. TT a second into the river, but they are first into the fight. OMG trying to get scraps left on the table. Yeah, so, TT, uh, they have themselves the Ash Arrow back up in a few seconds. They're teleporting. There's a Herald going up. There's no exhaust this time. Hoya has Flash and Ult. This is not a good fight for OMG. This is not a good fight for OMG. They're going to fight it anyways. PP God finds out the hard way that 1XN hits ridiculously hard. Now Tianjin going to try to go over on Hoya. And this is a catastrophe for a team that we were lauding coming into this best of three. I mean, TT, they just play off their old cooldowns. What, what more do they have to do? They sit there and like, well, thank you for giving us the combo. Thanks. <laughs> it is, uh, particularly um, when you're trying to open up different angles of attack. Hoya still hasn't used his flash in um, a lot of these fights, so he's going to be chunked out. He has to teleport. If you can recall, you can get back to the fight. But now OMG have like a 12-second window to do something with before Hoya can influence the play. Spotted on the recall, Angel really doing well here to stop Hoya from influencing the fight. That opens up a timing window for OMG. 4v4, but TP coming in. Angel has the prio. The back's still coming through from Hoya, but he does have really good defensive wards. TP2, Dragon going down low. Here goes PP God, but the Dragon going to Tanzan. And denied so far as TT, but here comes the lightning storm that you've been waiting for. Slicing mail from Amoya. Nobody can follow up on him yet. They just need one kill, and here he comes. Base one will find the soul of OMG, and he gets sniped in the end by Starry, denying him the resets. But TT still able to fight their way out of this one, and OMG, they're showing their teeth. They do that improvisation. They find a way to stop Hoya getting into the play by Angel side laying. And Angel really carrying that whole phase of play. OMG, they managed to escape oh the combo. Powerful back in now from UCAL. He wants to come join the fight. Doesn't really have much. Absolutely. But this, is, this is the point where if you go, if you get that first reset combo, that's great. I don't know. <laughs> that's just the solo bowler from Harry. I was wondering if he was going to be able to dash his way out of that one, but Harry's just waiting like a patient monster. OMG, uh, we said they need to improvise a little bit for periods in this game. I think they've done quite well at that level. Uh, and TT, they are now going to have to pray that their next tankiest person in the top lane. Rob, TT going towards that top side now, potentially fighting on that skull. Oh, Crab, that's hits. a long CC chain, but he does have the Merc, so it'll be shorter. They still follow it up. Kukas and Blows join two, and Page One takes the life of Tianjin. Mercury's dreads are not going to matter at all. There is too much CC. Jungler dead. Baron started. CT one fell swoop. That arrow, that combination gets them onto the Baron. Angel trying to get over here with the calling. Starry here with the 
poke to try to deny this one, maybe even steal it away. Hoy is coming in though. Shadow Flame has been completed. Baron getting low. Baron going down. And now TT, they want the souls of OMG again. PB got almost down there. Hoy is looking for his angle. He still has everything available to him. And it will be TT end up walking away with five purple Baron capes. For um, for Viego right now, it's a long time recess. It is a really nasty combo. Here he's getting a little bit of revenge put onto him down here. They just really want to force this onto him for that solo he got onto Hoya earlier. They got Feather down here as well. Enchanted Crystal, oh my god, the man is a marksman and it fits his name so well. What I said does end up finding a big Enchanted Crystal arrow, but a double knock up there. True Shot Barrage across this half of Hoya's health. They're gonna have to TP reinforcements down here to pull this one off. They're gonna bring in you, Cal, but he immediately dashes away. Turret does go down. Look at Tiao Jen. He's got the angle for the Nature's Grass. Oh, he can't get the Heartbreaker combo. There, base one's just going down low. Now they try to get the other side of the fight here. They will find the trade back. Story is now the focus for TT. Yukal stepping up, and he's gonna make sure to flash for those kills. One X said finds himself a da -da 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 double kill for TT. It's the Zarius, the Canis, the Thunder Duo for Thunder Talk, and they will run through the bot side of the map and they'll take themselves even more structures with it. TT, they did have a lot of that standing goal. They did have a lot of ability to get even further ahead in this game, and the combos have worked at the time for them. If they'd missed those arrows, they could have been stalled out, but OMG, they've uh, sadly had a target pointed uh, directly on their forehead, which to one extent has been spiking arrows into all day long here in this first game. Greatness for TT. Absolutely. I mean, TT does so much work through that mid lane and that bot lane, carrying potential and Patreon, of course, in that three of that. Another arrow. They're going to keep hit. it going. Double knock up City here. Glacial Fisher coming in. Here's the TP, and guess who it is? It's the Pikachu. And he's going all over you. He's predicting where Starry went. And this is just dirty. And they have the calling back from Angel to rebuff the fight from TT. You're already missing Starry. And there's a palpable feeling in the air of a TT domination. I always wonder whether Starry should have been tanking one or two of these arrows with the cleanse at this point because no one else can do it. And, uh, you know, people have went for that first side of Warmonks. It only came in now. It's a late first item, but it should have been in Mikhail's. And if he'd gotten it earlier, it could have potentially saved the team. And if he wants the hope of this one, Nature Grasp is going to have to get the right targets. The uh, biggest problem is, though, that uh, they will always have that big answer in you with 1xn. Now they're just completely surrounding OMG. Beethorn was actually looking for a deep flank there. He did end up getting control war back there, so they don't, do know that there's nobody in that vicinity. All five are present, oh. and they're just going to take the double knock up there. And already Harry's gone. You give a Cassante over to base one, and you're going to be paying with your lives as TT absolutely eviscerate OMG in game number one. It's over a 10,000 gold lead. It's almost a flame horizon for Bates One, who has had Tianjin's number all game long. And that's gonna be a game one victory for TT. Yeah, Thunderdog are done with this game. They make the 5-0 OMG look easy in this first game. They hit all the arrows they need to. They take all the kills they want. 1XN, a masterful marksman, might even be rivaling Robin Hood at this point, but it is a TT that stands strong in an undefeated OMG's face. We need to see how that lane matchup is going to go into the Zeri, though. We haven't seen that much AD carry versus Mage gameplay. Yeah, true, but I do like the stability it brings. A ton of utility, but also just the consistent damage as time goes on. You know, revisit some of those goals. Yeah. It's also hard to set up those new moments, right? The the named abilities don't come often anymore. Now, let's take a look at the map here, though, as uh, TT looking to be proactive on the top side. Go for the flash play, but get Harry. They're going to flash for it anyways. Harry going down and first blood yet again for TT. So if he can get himself another kill trade, that could be very, very important. That's his the lion is yeah, looking... And they actually find 1xN on the angle here. He's getting the cleanse out, trying to go for his own kill, but Tianjin will pick that one up. And I'm just going to say, as a former zookeeper, my favorite animal is a lion, and that's a 400-pound sucker right there. Starry over to this top side. Would have been perfect if they had the new animal squad skin for the lion. That's why it doesn't have a flash this time. Uh, chance that people go Oh, no. Close to the river. He has the yellow card, but they are just waiting for him. If they're going to get the Zenith Blade, they're going to get the CC combo, and OMG now gets Starry his own kill. The double control <laughs> work. Yeah, a little bit careful going into the, the ring like that at some point. So we might just be getting ourselves to the point where we can find 
get the AOE there. True Shot Barrage comes across as well. Look at the double CC chain here. Feather is pulling off some agile tricks on this big cow. Now Yu Cow comes in too. Smiling Despair. It should pick off Hoya. They get one back there too. Starry is in the midst of everybody. And TT are picking them apart here. They've gotten all three grubs. They've gotten a couple more kills. And they are taking OMG to task. He wants to clear out that ward, but it's Tianzhen who's left to kind of pick up the traps around the um, bot side of the, uh, of the map. And yes, that's going to be an objective for them, because he's not going to bet at the start of the fight. Which is quite quite has that yellow card. Immediately get Tianzhen out there and try and get out of that situation. They bring Starry down from this top side. OMG looking prep for the fight. I do like that TT are utilizing this vision bush here. They will just get the frontal engaged by TT God. They're going to get a big power class back to the face, though. Got to be very careful as OMG have withstood the first charge of OMG or of TT rather and now OMG with that predatory instinct is going to move back over to the grubs I don't know if TT are going to be willing to go for this one they do have a lot of AoE damage still that's going to get rooted oh. up by this he's on face checking smiling despair is it going to be enough to take him down just a little bit of healing back for Feather there PP got looking over on the angle the grubs are starting to fall already won the way of OMG Nice little severing bolt to get one exit a little bit lower. Another grub goes down the way of OMG, but TT want to move forward. They want to try to get this one, and they do. So they will end up getting four grubs, and now they want the engage. Big move from New Cal. He's gotten two kills, and he wants more. Look at that yellow card flash from Hoya as TT have come to town, and OMG can do nothing but what? OMG have just not dialed in on these grub fights effectively. But this is a beautiful entree, and now it is also a situation where the Rift Herald is already going down. OMG are trying to collapse. They have the Predatory Instincts popped. The Rift Herald goes over the way of TT now, and they have a front-to-back fight. Starry's trying to make that a little bit different, but True Shot Barrage made the difference there. Now Yukal, he's going forward yet again, as he already burned the flash. Starry's going down to Oya, and Yukal's picking up more here. Beach one ends up getting one for himself. Ultra Shock Laser gonna be dodged out of, but he has the dash, and there you go. Another kill for TT, and we might need to start calling them the Merry Men, because Yukal is starting to look like Little John here, and Robin Hood with one X in. <laughs> <laughs> we had Robin Hood in game one, the Ash was on point, and yeah, why not? Let's call it the whole band of thieves there from Thunder Talk, and they have absolutely stolen from the rich of 5-0 from OMG. They don't support themselves, but they'll be taking that win, absolutely. He is a stability that we didn't expect, and I think OMG now are facing the tough task of fighting back in this one and bringing us to another three-gamer, but TT, they have shown up in force here. Hoya. Actually taking a decent trade on air, he gets half his health take and try to bait out for Tianjin. I mean, Hoya still has that ignite too. You jump too far forward, this guy's gonna kill you. Feather's here, he has all he has flash. He can't really dive this while Alice is there either. Not like TT are gonna pull Baron on play or anything, but Harry is the play now in the side lane as Yukal has come in with the shield bow completed. There is no Meganar, and there is nothing to save you from the horn. God, who should be gonna corralling the enemy team to stick together. They're sticking together oh, now, but others, oh, they wanna kill you! Oh, look away! Oh my god, Feather, that was disgusting! What XN goes into, and OMG are scattered to the wind. He's got a lot of, he's, he's got a lot of threat. He's a dangerous animal. OMG, this is what we were talking about, though. They have collapsed, they have that dive. They get another kill for Tianzhen. That Pyroclasm will not find as much as maybe they were hoping for, but Tianzhen getting locked down now as well, still burning. Here comes Yukal. He's the one with all the gold. He needs to get in there to get the damage down. PP God giving his life over. Feather goes over too, but look at Yukal this entire time, like lightning, making Thunder Talk click. But now Harry trying to get his Megadar here to get a setup. They do end up getting Feather in the end. His Angel sustained damage is coming in so ridiculously clutch. Um, so you can stay around, you can burn down his dragon. There's no spike from OMG. So even though OMG win a, what, a two for one fight overall, they don't get to the ground from the objective. And sadly for them, they also don't get something like that shut down onto Hoya either. As the rich and it's TT who have stuck up on them, the merry men here, <laughs> uh, able to steal away the fortune, maybe give it to the less fortunate here in group nirvana and make these last couple series super spicy and we once again they have that thrill of the hunt he's going deep on his oh he's going deep yukal he's found himself oh look at the lightning crash look how much healing he has back though he's taking a 1v2 but gonna be cc down they got the tp killer instinct too sorry picks up the kill and now omg have
presence around this top side. Either can CT fight without Yukal. Yukal was a massive center of damage for them. They need to get 1xN in there. Solar Flare goes on to Hoya. They do get the Spiraling Despair on M2. He's going to bring it back to the team. Here it goes. Harry hits the big Megadar. Big four man and Pyroclasm on top of that. You thought you had it, but we had the high ground the entire time. TT's 1xN stepping up for his own kill onto Angel, and that's going to be straight to the Baron for the Thunder Talk King. OMG have consistently now in the last few minutes found the first person in the fight, but they can't find the second, the third, the fourth, and TT, they always have another carry waiting in this game with this kind of gold lead. They're going to get themselves the Baron. It's not been the cleanest mid game from them. They've probably split too far. Huh? Like, I, I, I don't know who he is on the Merry Mid, but he needs to be somebody because, my God, this man is having an incredible performance. Uh, 16 KP out of 19 and multi, multi-man knockups here for Feather. I'm, I'm, I'm more interested about who's going to be like me. It probably does mean that TT have a lot more time to do whatever the heck they want, uh, for the time being. Tian Chen's ultimate going to be down for the start of the dragon play as well. So TT, they keep walking up. They have themselves huge items. They do grow. They have to uh, bring in different players. Feather coming into the roster, of course, at this time as well. TT integrating the pieces to try and build towards something more. They have shown an upper level, which we know can maybe get them into playoffs if they need it. To prove it. Oh, Tian Tian. The they spot him out. PP guard's already gone. Now Tian Tian all by himself in two man cage there. And the lion is going to be put on display at the local zoo here because OMG are going down. Starry trying to get the master play on the side. Can rebuff TT a little bit as the siege has been relayed. The big next minion wave is going to be the question as do hit by the true shot barrage. And here come the cannons. Come. Can they use the wave play? There's still a way in the game. Good wave play. Is it enough? It might just be for now, but maybe not for the first Nexus turret. Yeah, TT fighting tooth and nail. A four win series score gets them that ticket. Oh, it's just God. Oh my goodness. The Severy Bolt is starting to do some serious work here. And Angel is showing why this pick was picked from the draft because in the end, it will be the stabilizing oh, factor. And we're talking about stability here. OMG getting pounced by Harry didn't even have Megadar. And Yukal just absolutely shrinks him down to size. Tianzhen now looking for it. They find him. They get one X set. It's finally just bear on him as well. Angel picks up the kill. Double CC chain over here at the Solar Flare. PP got trying to stop you, Cal. They will end up getting Feather. And TT overextend, leading to a double kill for Angel and OMG second dragon. Yeah, TT overstay. The overstay in the base, they do get all three in him, so they will get themselves probably in a Nexus Tower as well. There's no one defending that. There are super minions on them, and that will be one of those towers going down. God, even the second one might go down. I don't think Starry's got the way Oh my goodness, no, it's going it, down. It, it's mini dip. It's what you do. I'm looking at the TPs right down, now. I'm looking at everything coming out from TT as they move in. They took the dragon. What? OMG reverse Uno themselves into a potential loss. I love that we just watched Hoya clear like four control wards there. <laughs> and now oh, Tien Tien is just out by himself trying to get wards and just goes down to Yukal. This is signaling the end. And what a shocker. This was the chaos series for me. This was the one that was supposed to go to three. But OMG, their backs against the wall as we welcome the merry men of TT into a 2-0 victory against the undefeated OMG. And that is what we love in the LPL. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.